It's your boy James, Mr. Stop Being Dirty. Listen, man, I know y'all think I've been dirty on some, haven't been blogging, not really in a scene too much, but life has changed a lot for me over the course of the past year, year and a half, you know. Obviously, you know, I have the twins, you know, biggest blessing and biggest life-changing thing that ever happened to me, you know. I'm a father now, you know. It's not something that was premeditated or, you know, maybe you'll never be prepared for it, but I know, like, I jumped into it two feet, what is it, what's that saying, two feet first? Edinburgh women they know, they know less than us um so you know I'm here now you know I'm somewhere upstate in the fucking on a fucking mountain just enjoying life you would think me and Big K somewhere practicing for two on two I just ran into fucking uh hollow and luck somewhere in the trees over there they angry about how they uh have to like change up their bars for uh now chess and shit well free suit surf and all that's unfortunate series of events that keeps happening with him you know i don't want to speak on something i don't know just i uh, hope everything works out for that guy but today speaking of working out for someone um serious jones versus mav hoffa this caught my interest you know not a lot of things really catch my eyes these days i feel like it's a lot of repetitive things going on matchups and sound alikes and i'll do that in another blog you know how i feel the game has changed but today i want to talk about serious jones and mav hoffa boy Rematch going down on RBE, man. Salute to the folks over there. You know, ARP Shata. You know what it is. Um, at the end of the day, we're going to talk about them too, by the way. Maybe I'll throw that in the end of this blog. We'll talk a little bit about what's going on with me and my standings with RBE. Subscribe to the channel. Mav Hoffa versus Sirius Jones. Damn, I'm a little rusty doing this shit. I feel like I sound like this. Uh, 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 man, it's a beautiful thing to see that rematch going down, you know, for Sirius Jones more than anything. And I think this would caught my eye. Just like, you know, I feel like that guy really needs closure, you know? Like, he's been carrying that fucking stigma and, like, the bad rep for um, what happened between him and Mav some years back. And, like, I understand you're always going to hear it every battle, you know? I, Dose is in the same position. Bill Clutch is the same position. Mav, Sirius, and myself plus others, you know? But at the end of the day, this is the thing. You have to overcome that bullshit, you know? Like, it happened already, you know? Get over it type thing. And I know sometimes things happen in life that you dwell on and you hold on to, and it sucks because you'll always trip moving forward if you're looking behind you, you know? You have to move on from things, and I feel like that man has never been able to do that. Same thing with Mav, Mav Hoffa and disaster thing. You know, he doesn't want to let that go, and it's fucked up. When you don't let things go like that in life, it fucks you up. You know, it actually gets you upset. It's ruining your day to day. You know, I always see life as like you wake up with 100% of a tank of energy that you can project the energy into positive things and your goals and things that could help you move forward. But everything that you dwell on that's negative or tarnishes your thoughts of positivity, it takes away from that positive tank of being able to do better. You're taking away from it. So now 10% of your mind is thinking about your cell phone bill. 10% of your mind is thinking about your girlfriend. The other 20% is thinking about who's going to mention me getting punched. The other, next thing you know, you're left with fucking 40% of positivity to make your life better. You know, and at the end of the day, again, this is why this battle caught my eye. Because I feel like this is great closure for Sirius Jones. And I hope he finds that. You know, Mav Hoff has been on a fucking tear as far as the battle goes itself. I mean... You've seen what happened in the rematch with him and Dose. You know, he, he's a he's a, he's a a manipulative fuck. You know, this guy had like half of the battle at world believing I actually worked in a fucking laundromat. And I see him to this day and I'm like, yo, it's it was such a veteran move on his part because it shows in battle rap. It's not really about what you say. It's how you say it. It's how you can twist the story. You know, with T-Top with the Walmart, uh, the Rum Nitty thing. And, you know, it's just your angle is is big and he's very good at that and he has a great one you know what i mean against jones but i think this will be the most dangerous craziest series jones we're ever gonna see honestly when i first heard of the matchup i was leaning more towards series jones because this isn't the battle of math hoffa's life it's not you know what the battle of math hoffa's life was holla to don and look what he did in that this is the battle of series jones life for Sirius Jones. I have Jones taking this battle off of that alone. It's gonna be a dope battle and crazy. Our ARP was able to put it together. You know, that face off is probably crazy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yo, subscribe to the channel. You know, I got some new merch going on. I'm a, you know, I keep telling you I have the whole fitness thing I'm gonna start doing. I, the, one of my next blogs, the next like three or four blogs, I'm, you know, I'm putting together um, my journey. You know, I was 253 pounds. I stand now 188. You know what I'm saying? Fucking feeling great. We still gotta go all the way up there. Stop being dirty, bitch. 
Um, you know, I was supposed to battle X Factor on this card. You know, why even hold back, right? Fuck it. I was supposed to battle X Factor on this card, but, you know, me and ARP couldn't come to agreement, you know? And at the end of the day, I, I think I'm very and shit at the end of the day i think i'm uh i think i'm fair you know i think me and, R me and arp and rb go way back i've never like asked for anything outlandish and i still did it this time you know you know it's something that they feel they can't fit in the budget and uh you know i have to respect them feeling that way and they have to respect for me not wanting to take what they're offering you know you know th this wasn't the first time that me and uh arps uh went down this road trying to make something happen and when it happens it happens if it don't it don't i still wish the best for them and and you know, that's that, you know, um, the smack thing, you know, I got offered a band versus Don Marino, you know, again, I'll just, just throw it out there. I, I, that's not a battle that pushes me, you know, whether people say, oh, he'll kill you. And he, that's just not something that I was interested in. You know, I've been offered battle rap the most I've ever been right now, eight months, you know, like that's not a battle I want to come back hype for, you know, salute to Philly. I was supposed to battle Reed Dollars out there. That battle didn't go down. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reason, it's feel like the light is going out on this going on. Uh, for whatever reasonings, you know, uh, Reed had and went to battle rap jail or whatever bullshit story, you know, whatever the case is, man, just a lot of things going down that hasn't, it, it needs to happen organically. Speaking of organic, you know, we've had a couple of talks too, you know, we'll do something definitely soon in the near future, me and King of the Dot and every league that I mentioned, salute to them, you know, salute to Smack doing the app, salute to that for the culture, salute to RBE for moving to Atlanta, salute to King of the Dot. You know, like everybody's making money, making moves, and I love it. I'm doing the same. You know what I'm saying? Battle rap has always just been a hobby for me. Something that I love to do. I traveled the world doing it. You know, a lot of people was like, oh, you always mentioned Australia, London. Well, you know what? I'm a dirty fucking kid from Queens. You never been anywhere. You know, next thing I know, I pick up a talent that had me traveling the world. You hate on that, fuck you. Anyway, man, I know it's been a while, but I still don't want to talk your ear off. And I'm fucking hot as fuck. It's like 93 degrees out here. Gotta finish this mountain hike. Just enjoying life, and I hope y'all doing the same. You know, I'm gonna try to hit y'all with some more blogs more often, which you have to understand. You know, my my, my viewing, my life, the way I think, I feel like uh, what you call it, homie? After you got shot and paid in full, like I feel different, I move different, I'm talking different. You know, just in a better way. At the same time, he's get shot every day, B, and I'll be motherfucking back. Believe that shit. It'll be the best gym to ever see. Got some new shit for you, new sounds, new flows. Let me get out of here though, man. Subscribe to the channel, Battle Rap, man. Always have a part of my heart for y'all, you know what I'm saying? It's just, right now just ain't my time. When it is, I'll be back. Stop being dirty.